It's 5.30 and we're sneaking on. I'm a little more set up than usual that I've already got all these pages open. I've just got to grab our live. Okay, it's got one. Turn my volume off. Okay, we're cooking with gas here. We'll see if anyone else makes it on with us. Let me just try the other one. I hope you all had a good day. It was beautiful here again today. Quite warm, but not as warm as yesterday. Ooh, I got some funky curls happening in the front. Bonjour, Francine. Okay, it looks like we're good. I can see everything. Yay! So, hi, Keisha. Um, it's Thursday. I'm fried, not gonna lie. So, but I needed on because I needed my boost. So, we're gonna case, and there's nothing wrong with casing. I have never heard in my life as many people say as they do, I'm not creative, I can't do this. Yeah, you can. No one says you have to design anything. You just get to have fun. So, hi, my loves. Look at you all. Yay. Um, so, I'm going to case a card from the catalog, and I will show you which one. Oh, one person watching and thumbs up. You guys are so cute. I love you. Okay, just a sec. Oh, I have to get it on the right screen so that I can actually see how to move it over. So, let's turn off the banner. Huh? See? I'm getting better at that. And then let's jump us over to here. Okay. Oh, I'm hoping that Facebook, so Linda, the other night it was doing those captions so weird and I think, but it was weird on my phone, but not weird on my laptop. Oh, look at it. It's got dirty paper below, but I flipped it over. 104 in California. Yeah. You get sweat in places you don't need it. It is disgusting. Okay. So do you want me to show you the one we're going to do? We're changing it up a little. Like I've got different colors, etc. but it was, I wanted to play with these. You're looking lovely. Debbie, you're so cute. Debbie, I'm wearing a dress. I'll tell you the story. Okay, so this is the card we're gonna do, but we're gonna do it a little bit differently. Hi, Judy. Hi, Ange, it's a cooker here in Saskatoon. That was us yesterday, Trace, but we did not get 36. We just hit, I think, 30 or 31, it wasn't bad. So we're gonna do this one because the dyes, oh my God, seriously, like how was I not paying attention to this in that I get a whole bunch of cute stitch-shaped dyes and I get them as windows, but I also get them as the die cuts. So super sweet idea. Now that die set, where did I put it? Here it is, is called, picture this dies, but it's got two. I have legs, I totally do. Um, there it is, right here, okay? Hi, Janet. You guys are so cute. So, the story behind the dress. I don't wear dresses. I wear a dress the last day of grade seven when I taught it. Um, always for the grade seven assembly, I had dress, heels, full blown makeup, like did my makeup, hair, everything. And that's not me. I'm a total sweatpant girl. Um, anyway, Karen, what are you doing today? You guys are so cute. Oh, Sally, I'm glad you caught us. Good. Um, anyway, it was so hot yesterday and I was wearing shorts and a t-shirt and the kids were like, oh my gosh, you're wearing shorts. And I was laughing. I'm like, oh yeah. I went to get dressed today and after yesterday, which was gross, I put on a dress. I walked in this morning, or I was outside walking up to the building because I teach in a portable, and one of my sweet little girls was just arriving. Oh no, Linda, I know. Um, and one of my sweet little girls was just arriving outside the building, and she went, am I hallucinating? Is Mrs. McKay wearing a dress? Oh my God, they were so cute. Hi, Denise and Stella, yay. I know, so Elizabeth, the die is at the back. Like you can find the die, but he's not part of a bundle. So it's called Picture This Dies. Um, they're on page 164. You can find them. Okay. So what we're going to start with is we're going to do the initial, we're going to die cut this right from our pool party cardstock. The dies and the peekaboo farm animals. I've got them out. I'm super excited about the peekaboos. Now I'm doing this on an angle on purpose. I have a plan. Okay. So we're going to go like this and we're going to crank it, baby. Was, uh, my son is going to be traveling to Arizona for the next few months. Oh my God, 106. <laughs> yeah, he's in for a whole new world. Hi, Teddy. I know, Debbie, do you ever find that? That all of a sudden there's like some set you had no idea existed? Okay, so check that out. Do you see how cute that is? So we've got all these cute little windows. Hi, Patty. And then, check this out. These are not getting tossed. So these are gonna go into my pool party scrap bag. I can totally see myself adding uh, little sentiments and using them on a card as a little stitch shape. Like they're quite cute, okay? I know, Teddy, it's adorable. Okay, so we've got that one. Now, oh, there's noise upstairs. I apologize, my sister might come down. We are not making my sister stamp with us. She would, my niece is here too. 
Um, but I'm allowed to have five people in my house. I'm super, is that dorky? I'm so excited. Anyway, okay, so I'm gonna die cut a set of white ones as well. I'm not keeping the, the white background part, so I'm totally good, okay? So I'm gonna come in here. Oh, oh, I'm going to die cut this little darling. Crank it, baby. Wow, is that still available? Yes, it is available. So page 164 of your caddy, okay? It's not part of a bundle anywhere. It's just a die set. It's super cute. And it's got the rectangles that you can do it with too. Okay, because we're going to need a couple of these. Now, we're not done. We're going to need one more set. And I just, I think I'm going to do them. I'm going to cut the DSP just a sec. Because it's got some cute little pattern paper poking through. And so I'm going to cut it. This is from the Hoset Designer Series paper. Is it called Pattern Party? I never remember the name. It's called Pattern Party. I was right. Oh, thank God. Okay. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to cut us one set of the cute little stripey diapies, okay? Oh, day job. Super over it, eh, girl? Um, it looks like brass knuckles for a giant. Oh, my God. You're hilarious. What page? 164, Cheryl. Jump on there. Hello from Iowa. I had to move that. Sorry. I, no, don't. I want to know. Don't tell me because then I'll get in trouble for my husband. He's like, you're an enabler. I'm like, no, it just makes me feel better about what I do. <laughs> okay. So I've got my little bits here that I'm going to hang on to. Hang on to your bits, people. It's important. Okay. So our next step. I am going to, we're going to just do this on scraps. We need to pick two animals, okay? So I'm gonna keep track. First animal to five is the first one and second animal to five is the next. So it looks like I have got cow, pig, sheep. I'm gonna call this a llama because he kind of looks like a llama with the big pointy up ears and a horse. I need five people for one animal, okay? I'm tracking. Okay, so I better write this like down fast while you guys are still catching up on the video. The sheep's got the horns. We got a pig and we got a cow, okay? So you tell me what animals you want me to work with tonight. Okay, so I have a horse. I have a pig and a cow, okay? I have a sheep. I'm trying to check the other one. What else we got? Trying, we're gonna have way too much fun without you. Get your butt back here, girl. Llama and cow, okay? Still watching, llama. I feel like llamas are funny. Cows horse, pig, double checking, a cow, pig, pig, llama, cow, pig, pig, llama, okay, just a sec, horse, pig, pig, cow, cow, horse, pig, got him, pig, cow, cow, Poop. it's a pig and a cow, that's what we're doing, we got it, Whew. look at that, you guys, that was stressful, I was looking at both and trying to count votes, so we need a pig and we need a cow, okay, oh my god, they're so cute, I have to come back. Oh, there's somebody walking in my door. Hi, sister, I'm live. Do you want to say hello? Oh, no, I'm sorry. Do you want to come be featured on the live? My nephew is here. No. My what? Your fur nephew is here. My fur nephew. You. Hey, you guys, do you want to see what my sister looks like? No. Yes, Bye. come on. Don't be a jerk. Bye. Oh, you're so awful. I don't want to know Zoom calls either. I want you just to come say hello. I talk about you all the time. Just nope. a sec. Yep, come here. Nope. Bye -bye. Oh, so not fun. Trying to get my sister to come on a Facebook live. She's like, nope, nope. Wouldn't that have been funny? Or maybe the pig too. You guys are hilarious. See, we almost got my sister in the door. Didn't work. Pig, cow, got him. Okay, if she walks, I know, look at Elizabeth. She has to be in the law. She's okay. So take how stubborn I am and multiply it by a hundred. And that's my sister. She's a hundred times more stubborn than I am. And I, I got to say, a little bit, a little bit less insane. <laughs> a lot less insane. She won't. You guys are all laughing. Oh, I love you. Okay, so we got our pig and our cow. Now, I'm going to stamp those. We're going to go to, you guys are so funny. Cheryl's like, yes, she has to come in. You guys would die because we actually look nothing alike. We sound exactly alike. Looks like it's name your favorite animal on here. Totally flipped the camera. I should have, Jennifer. But she, she, I'm scared of my sister. She's my older sister. She beat me. She did a lot of that when we were younger. <laughs> Come on, sister. I love you guys. Party pooper. Oh my God, wait till I tell her this. How is Peter? Pete is great. Did I tell you that Peter's engaged? Peter's getting married this summer. Well, he might just come home one day and tell us that he's done it, is what I would actually suspect based on my knowledge of my brother. 
Okay, your brother is the star. Oh, Pete is funny. Pete is a funny guy. All right. I'm really going to have to let these dry. Those were very inky images. Wow, were they ever. I might actually stamp my cow one more time. Or my pig one more time because I feel like I got a little heavy duty there. Okay, give me one more. Peace. Peace. Oh, oh she was telling me that my fur nephew is here. So I have Cooper, uh, who's a pointer. But before Cooper, I had Rooney, who might be the sweetest dog who uh, has ever walked the planet Earth. He was a rescue that we got and had no experience with pointers. And he was crazy when we got him. But he turned into the world's sweetest dog. You can ask Corey about him one day. Corey will tell you she had him. And uh, anyway, my sister ended up getting a pointer because of Cooper. And then we got... Or so because of Rooney, and then we ended up getting uh, Cooper because of Rooney. So he's convinced many people to own pointers. He was that sweet. Okay, so we're letting these dry because I have to. Now, this is actually going to, I'm going to pop this dude up, okay? And then we're going to take these shapes. I need to kind of figure out who goes where. So you go there. This is like those, um, remember the puzzles that we did as kids where you had to stick the shapes in the blocks? At least they're all circles. It's not rocket science for me on a Thursday. You, oh, that's right, Cheryl. You did see my sister. I know. My sister's got my... She looks more like my dad. And I definitely look more like my mom. Okay, there we go. So we've got those. Now, what sentiments? I think we should just do the hello there. It's super cute. Cor, I need you to vouch for me. Because you just missed a conversation. I was telling them that Rooney might be the sweetest dog to have ever walked the earth. She met him. She was in love with him. Oh, do you want to hear a good rescue dog story? I will tell you it. Whoops, I just got something on me. Rooney, I had just, uh, I think I told you guys this. I feel like I might have. Anyway, so I had just gone back to work. I had been off on that leave. Um, I had Joe, and then I, had, I came back to work. I kid you not, I came back to work four months pregnant. And then I had another baby. And, <laughs> oh, sorry, my kennel cough's bad. Anyway, um, I had another baby. And then after another year, I know true soul dog. He, that's exactly the way to describe him. Total soul dog. Anyway, um, I went back to work. I think I'd been back at work for a week. So Sean is at home. He has a two and a half year old, a one year old. He has a Rhodesian Ridgeback with diesel at the time. And then we had, so I'm grabbing things as we're talking. And that was it because we'd lost my uh, Rottweiler just before my second child was born. Anyway, so I go to work and the receptionist, or the head office admin at school, she tells me that she knows about this rescue dog and me being the absolute sucker that I am. We're going petal pink. Sorry, let me grab them. There's my petal pink. They are. We're going to grab petal pink for our pig. Say that 10 times fast. Petal pink for the pig. Um, she says, I got this dog for you. You need to rescue him. He's, I think he was 11 months old at the time. And I was like, okay, like what happened? So she starts telling me and that he'd been locked in a garage. You guys, he was still nursing at 10 months. Um, nobody took care of them. My GSP was the sweetest dog ever. Lacey was her name. Oh, I love it. She was a happy failure. I love happy failures like that. Anyway, uh, no human contact at all. He hadn't been exposed to humans at 10 months of age. Um, he was a bit of a hot dog. Uh, there's more to that story than you would know. Anyway, um, but severely kind of neglected. No, he hadn't been out of a garage, hadn't walked on the ground, nothing. Anyway, he came to be our baby and was phenomenal. Now, the reason that I stamped these here and did not just put them on here is I'm actually going to color them and then cut them out so that I can kind of prop them over top. Does that make sense? I want the little hooves or whatever we've got. What are pigs? Are they called hooves on a pig? Um, to hang over. Okay, so <coughs> before I do that, these ones can come out. So let me hang on. We're not going to put the little white ones in. Those, we're going to give it some pops of color. That's where our little tiny ones are going in. Oh, it's funny. We only got certain color dots on those. Okay, so we've got our little color dots. These guys are going to get some color first. So we're going to leave you where you are. And I'm going to grab, this is my pear pizzazz. So I'm... <coughs> right? Like smoosh it in there. Give it a little whirl on your paper just to get off the initial. And then we're going to go like this. 
And you might ask, why is she not just going to use some pear pizzazz cardstock? Well, it doesn't give you the same effect. It's not quite so soft looking and kind of more like natural. So we're going with that. Do do, we did it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Come on, sister. These are going to be awesome for my friend who live in a farm. With oh, see, you need those. Hurt so bad he cowered to the ground crying. Oh my God. Oh, Keisha. Oh, see, that just hurts. How does somebody hurt animals? I don't quite understand that. Yeah, um, I will tell you, Rooney was also Keisha, a nervous peer. So I don't, I mean, we don't know. We don't know his full story. But he was amazeballs. Best thing we ever, and it was Joe's, our eldest. It became his best friend. Hi, Heidi. Okay, all the animals in that set have hooves. Okay, I haven't paid attention. Yes, yes, they do. Check it. There's no webbed feet. We're all good. They're all hooves. Oh, we've got cute tails on here, too. I feel like I might need to pop a tail up behind somebody. Okay, now there is this adorable little fence that you can stamp, right? But we're not stamping fences today. So we've got these two. Now, let's put this away. Don't put it down. Put it away. Put it down. Put it away. Don't sing to yourself. It's super awkward. Let's color the pig. I need dry because seriously, there was that much ink. Are pig's hooves pink? What color is a pig's hooves? Can somebody Google it? Somebody tell me. Yes, that they still have love to give you. He did. And that was all he ever gave you was love. I love Denise. It's like, uh, Ange, they all have hooves. I know. But Cheryl, I always think that if he didn't have what he had to start, I never would have got him. And so I would not, I don't want to say that, you know, he was supposed to be that way because I would never wish that on anyone. But I'm glad he ended up being mine. Pigs are pink hooves? Okay, perfect. I know pigs are pink. Is she trying to tell me that pigs are pink? I know I'm fried. Oh, Dina. I know. I'm so... Oh, Dina, I'm sending you love and we'll think about you tomorrow. Okay, a different shade of pink. Ooh, like darker pink or lighter pink? Someone check. Can we Google this? Just a second. Now I'm Googling. Okay, so hang on. I'm going to Google... Uh, pigs and then I'm going to click on images and then I'm going to check what my pigs hooves well that one's wearing rain boots so that's not what we're doing oh yeah they're just a little darker so we'll stick to the darker color <coughs> now I'm gonna hack is this dry look at it look at how much ink I had on those okay you ready we're gonna give him dark hooves I'm um, hi Sandy Fulton okay I'm just See what I'm doing here? Get it in. And in. Okay, so we've given him dark. Oh, we got a dog fight happening in the backyard. It's not mine. It's probably, well, it's probably my sister's. He's a bit of a barker. And he can't really handle Coop's puppy crazy. He's like, dude, settle down. And now I can hear them all laughing. So that's exactly what was going on. Coop was probably being a kangaroo. Da doing, da doing. And he jumps on his back legs straight up and down when he's excited. Not on you, just in the air, just like a loon. He's so funny. Okay, so I'm giving him... Oh my God, he's cute. Abusive home is a hot mess. Oh, I know. They do become your love bugs. Okay, so I've got him. That's some of that. Let's jump... Oh, I lost my... Just a second. I just need to get back to my YouTube peeps because I can't see them. There we go. Pigs are black, white, brown, pink, all colors. I'm going standard pink. And the only reason I'm doing that is because we've got the petal pink in here. I totally agree with you. I love it when you get like the different colors. Oh, this is very similar in color. Is my light petal pink too dark? Do you ever find that, that as they, um, as I overuse them, <laughs> some of mine don't look quite as dark anymore. I think I know, I'll know what I do. Just a sec. So we're going to add some petal pink into there. I'm going to go down his little chest a bit. Okay. That pink it is adorable. Don't you want to smooch it? Um, no, dark. Yeah. Oh yeah, baby. So I don't know about you guys, but I find sometimes if I have like killed my paintbrush end and I'm not getting my darker color out of it anymore, I can still get it out of my um, like pointer or chisel tip, whatever you call it, this end, the felt tip end, which is what I wanted. Um, and then I just go back in and I'll hit some stuff up with the light again to blend them. Okay, so we got him there. Don't color in his nostrils. There we go. <clears throat> I've always wanted a pig. Yeah, you got horses though, girl, don't you? I love when I see your horse pictures. I'm like, ooh, I have horse envy. Mm -mm. 
Okay, so we got, oh my God, you guys, he is so cute. It doesn't matter what color the hooves are on a pig, they're usually covered in mud anyways. <laughs> oh my God, I love it. <coughs> Kennel cough, there we go. Hi, Ash, how are you? I knew it was you, monkey. That's another one of mine, you guys. That's my sweet Ashley. Okay, so we've got that one there. She's got two horses. Ash, I'm making farm cards. <laughs> okay, so we'll leave him for a sec. Then we're gonna go to our cow. Now, for my cow, hmm, let's do, I'm gonna, can I gonna give him some gray? Gray and white cow, can I do that? I'm gonna give him a pink nose though, because I feel like that would be super cute. So, dude, dude. Okay, we're coming in here. Mm -mm. Ash, I tried to get my sister to come on camera with me. It was a big fat no, kind of like if you ask your sister to do it, you know how our older sisters just turn us down? Uh -uh. That ain't mud. Okay, you just gotta go. Bye, Ash. Go. She probably has soccer. I love his tiny smile. Oh, no, his smiles are pretty cute. Okay. <coughs> I have hacking away. Let's go darker gray on his hooves. I may join. I just got back from babysitting. Oh, good girl. Make a little cash. Okay, so we're doing the cow's hooves dark. Okay. Mm -hmm. There we go. I'm gonna give him a couple of darker spots and then I'm going to turn the rest of my cow kind of a grayy color he's going to be a funky colored cow actually maybe I'm not maybe I'm just going to leave him gray and white he's really cute I should have blended that more I didn't realize how cute he was going to be just a sec let's jump in here don't forget Kathy she's so cute Kathy's on the thumbs up there Mm -mm. Yeah, even my gray on here, I'm starting to get low. I can tell because my light is almost a similar color. So watch this. I'll show you my trick again. I have had my blends since day one, and I use them. There we go, baby. I use them a ridiculous amount. Like ridiculous, ridiculous. Your sister, she's well, she's outside. She's not in the house. She's, with, she's allowed in the house now, which would be exciting. But she's outside with Sean. My husband was welding with my niece. Go figure. My niece is hardcore. And they had a new bike rack that needed welding. And so my niece wanted to come and do it with my husband. So two of them were out there under the truck. Under their car, sorry. And they were welding. It was pretty cute. Okay, cows. I mean, uh, the autocorrect is making me rage. <laughs> Ash, no raging. <laughs> you tried to say the cows are cute. I know, autocorrect gets me every time too. I did that the other day. Old McDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Now, okay. <laughs> what are those things called on the cow? <laughs> okay, Ashley, you know when I have those moments in class where I can't remember what something's called? <laughs> Watch, I'll call them antennas or something. These things, what are they called on my cow? Are they called... Horns? Antlers? <laughs> Antenna? Oh my god, I should not be teaching elementary school. I can't even think right now. <coughs> Somebody tell me, <coughs> horns are pink. Love you. Okay. Horns, they're pink. Somebody just told me that their horns are pink, so we're under control now. Oh, I feel like a Cooper's here. Hello, Cooper. They're Norns, according to Trish. See, Norn, you're having the same issue that Ashley was having. The darn autocorrect. There. There we go. Oh, car cards and a concert. At least they're not antlers. <laughs> <coughs> okay, I really have to stop laughing because when I laugh, I cough. Uh, and my son's poor, he was up all night with the sneezing and I'm like, oh, good God, child. Tiny devil horns. Ha, 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 ha. I feel like we could use those in our classroom. Oh, my Ashley, can I tell them about the game we played today in art? <laughs> okay, this is twisted. So we had a super short art period today just because it was normally on Friday and we had to move it to Thursday. Anyway, so super short, short, not a sharp, short art period. And I feel like I'm going to need to cut this on the black line. I don't ever do this. This is going to trip me out. Okay, hang on. And so because the kids had to go outside for PE and I don't go with them for PE just this year. I hate that because I love PE, but um, I couldn't go outside with them for PE because they have a PE teacher outside right now. Anyway. We were doing this art project and I made them all put a math textbook on their head. I went to a farm was enamored with a cow with the horns. I wasn't sure if it was even a cow. <laughs> it was pretty funny. And so I don't have my Pepsi down here. I know, no Pepsi tonight. Um, 
so I made them all put a math textbook on their head with a piece of paper over top. And my only instructions were that I don't recommend you lift your pencil at any point. Now, some of you may have played this game. It's actually super fun. We've pl I played it at Christmas before with paper, um, paper plates on our heads. Anyway, so then they started, I started describing a scene to them. I said, okay, there's a tree in the middle of your page, but they can't look at the page. The page is on their head on top of the math textbook and they're using their pencil. And so they had to put a tree in the middle of a page and then they had, you know, then it's made, and as I said, just don't move your pencil off the page. So then it, I mean, you can, but it makes it so much harder. So I said to them, now draw ground at the base of your tree, but they can't see it. Now it was draw a picnic blanket. Um, now put two people on the picnic blanket. Like it was so funny. People on the picnic blanket. We had a garbage can. We had a dog peeing on the garbage can. We had clouds in the sky. We had birds. And then we had a balloon that had gotten away from the people. <clears throat> so we had all these kind of things that they had to put into their picture. And then I made them trade pictures with a neighbor and then you got points. So like, for example, if your tree was roughly in the middle of the page, you got a point for it. If your ground came in contact with the base of your tree, you got a point for it. If you had a picnic blanket, you got a point for it. If the people were in contact with the picnic blanket, you got like points for each one kind of thing. It was the best art, even though mine looked like a big scribble. I know, so Ash, I, I seriously, I think we should put those in for the card project. Can you imagine what your parents would do if I sent that home? That would be hilarious. Oh, it's Janet. It's always Janet. Janet is the favorite person. We don't, Facebook loves her. Okay, oh, we're gonna get a cow scrap here. Fight, fight, fight. Okay, hang on, I'm totally, just a sec. My tongue is sticking out, I'm totally, Ashley, this is like cutting out those hearts all over again, but way more intricate. This is the scissors, I remember, did you hear me say today that I wanted my, my pretty little sharp scissors? This is what I wanted. And cut. Anyway, so yes, they were quite hilarious. Their drawings were totally indistinguishable. <clears throat> For the, well, actually, that's not that's not true. Some of them were actually pretty good. I was like, oh, you kind of, you know, and they weren't cheating because I could see them all. So it was quite cute. Okay, so I've got my cute little piggy and he's going to kind of get propped onto here. I have a plan for his, I was going to say his paws. <laughs> Look at it. Okay, I believe you. Dairy cat. Yes. Okay, so we have, there's a, a field of cows in Merritt, BC, we're kind of near me, that I pass on the highway. And I don't think, you, could you have an entire field full of bulls? I don't even think it's possible. And all of these cow, they look like cows, but they all have big, long horns. And so I was like, no, you couldn't, I feel like there'd be more fights. If you had a field full of bulls, that wouldn't somebody get in an argument with somebody? Wouldn't it be all testosterone? -y? I'm so sorry. The cutting process when I cut on a line is not nearly as quick as when I'm giving myself my border. Pulled cows do not. It's a genetic thing. Hmm, interesting. So if someone find out, pull, what are pulled cows? Is that a type of cow? Or did you do a pull? She pulled? Cows do not. I don't, I don't know anything. I need to go look. I'm going to do, <laughs> we're going to do, Ashley, focus up tomorrow's science lesson. We're going to study cows. <laughs> I think they're longhorn cows. Okay. Texas steer. Look at this. I'm getting a cow lesson. You didn't know that you were joining us for a cow lesson. I'm really having a hard time cutting out these. I could have stamped him on the paper and then just cut out hooves and made them stick out. But because that looks like it's what they did in the book. But I want my cows and my pigs to stick up. Longhorned cattle. Yeah, they're in merit, right? Chris, have you ever seen those ones I'm talking about? No, pulled means they bred the horn gene out. Ooh, look at you, Tracy Taylor, teaching me another thing. Okay. Do you just want to laugh at my, like, I'm not around cows very often. I live in the city. It's boring. Okay, you guys, this is like, I'm not doing very well here. Maybe the cows are in a 12-step program. They're having group therapy. <laughs> okay, now we're going south. Cows, group therapy, you never know. My girlfriend was saying that she needs fish therapy because her fish was looking kind of depressed. And we kind of, oh, Ash, I didn't tell you this. Remember it, Miss Dolan said her fish was depressed? Her fish was no longer depressed today. Her fish was no longer alive today. I was like, remember we said when she said it was kind of hiding underneath things? We're like, mm, not happening. Okay. I'm coming through. 
Dude, dude, I'm cutting these. There we go. Longhorn for roping comb. Yeah, I feel like they'd be really effective to look at. They look kind of cool. And, oh. The look of these on the fence. Have you guys found it in the catalog? I live in a city, but it's Texas. And in the middle of a city, it's real. <laughs> I love it. But it's Texas. Yeah, I have to kind of go up to the valley before I see any animals. Like, I probably got to drive a good 40 minutes before I hit the animal zone. I wish I could share a photo. Oh, no, what are you sharing a photo of? Is it a cow? What did you find? Oh, my Corey, what did you find? Okay, so I'm going to go like this. We're almost there. <clears throat> so the only part you're going to see me do here, watch. So I'm going to go like this, and then I'm going to cut up. You're going to understand this why in a moment. Okay, so I'm going to cut up there. And then I'm going to do the same thing on this side because I feel like this will allow me to hook this dude, he's a hooker, over top of the edge of the circle. The cow that I wasn't sure if it was a cow, it's probably like a wildebeest. There, okay, so we've got his hooves done. It's very obviously a cow. I love you, Cora. Okay, so we got those. So he's got like, see what I mean? We kind of elevated his paws. That's what you call everything. When you have a dog, everything is a paw. So let's go like this. We'll do one more on the piggy. You are under the closed captioning. Oh, you can turn off your closed captioning. I can't really hold it much further from me because, and let's be honest, I'm 46 and I won't be able to see. Um, poor fish. And Anaya named it Ran your. <laughs> Ranny, that was the name. I know. I promise I know that they're not paws. Okay, here we go. I'm making Tracy crazy. She's like, Angela, focus. Go with your farm lingo. I know. Now let's get the bits. Okay. I like how Stampin' Up! put gaps in the rock wall fence. Yes, you can, exactly. So what she's talking about here, so look at this. Here, I'll show you. If you're putting him behind the fence, notice his paws. You don't have to cut him out. Like, it'll just drop in, which is adorbs. So we've got, we're going to do pops of color in these. These are going to happen. I'm actually going to split these two up because these two actually punched out very similar in terms of patterns. This one and this one. Let's cross our paws tonight. Absolutely. I'm going to make my little angles go different directions. That guy's going to go in there. You're going to come in here and then we're going to do, we'll glue those down once we've adhered him. He's going to have a little technique. I'll show you. And he's going to go in there. And actually, I think I'm going to move you to here because you're a larger animal. And then my pink, you're a teacher. I know, but I don't have to teach about cows. I promise. If I do, I'd be toast. Oh my God, this is cute. I'm in love with my own card. Okay. Do you remember what page the animal's on? Yes, sweetie, because I've got the book open in front of me. I'm page one, uh, sorry, I'm page 67, okay? And I moved it up now. They are adorable. Okay, so let's get the animals adhered. So this is my technique I'm gonna use, and we're gonna see if it works, and if it doesn't, oh well, we tried. So where's my seal? Got it. Doot, doot. Now, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go like this. I'm gonna slap some seal on his kind of body parts. Then, I might have to actually cut some of this off. We're going to tuck him in. See? <laughs> Check that out. Whoop, whoop. That's adorable. Now, the only thing we're going to have to do here is just trim off that bit of excess white that I had left. So you don't need quite, don't cut the card edge. There we go. Got it. Okay. So that guy's now adhered there looking so stinking sweet. Okay. Next, not there. You're going here. Okay. So we're going to do the same thing with our piggy. This little piggy went to market. There we go. And this one is going to be here. Just a sec. He is so cute. Oh, come on. Get your hooves in the right location, pig. There. And then he's going to get glued on there. Now, he's got no dangling bits, so we're good. <laughs> Love it. Okay. Now, these are going to get glued down. I'm going to show you by how I'm going to do this because I want to pop this guy up. So here's my plan. I'm seeing this all kind of come together in my head. It's a bit of a math game here or a puzzle game. So I'm going to go like this. I'm going to give the pig a dimensional on his backside and the cow a dimensional on his backside. What this is going to allow me to do is get them already centered over top of their little inserts. 
Okay, so there is cow insert. See, now he's popped up. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> but I feel like you could have so much fun with this set. You could do flowers in the windows. You could do all kinds of monkey business. Pig is in there. Good, okay? So we've got those two up. Now, my next step is going to be to put dimensionals on the whole thing. That glue that you're using is amazing. Yes, it is. But Ash, I have it, man. She's so cute. She doesn't... So my kids know, they do know what I do. Like, they know about my Stampin' Up. Oh, after this pet... It is. It's like the cats, you know what. Um, They know that I... Um, what's it called? They know that I stamp and they know that I sell the stuff, but I don't think they realize like how much of it. I think they just think like stamps and paper. I didn't like this set. Now I'm going to have to, I'm sorry. Dangly bits. Oh yeah. So we know the group of, like, Hey, we're in a house of dangly bits. Okay. Let's just jump in here. There you go. Now I am going to slap a little bit of seal on the backs of those two white circles, right? Look at Mary. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not meaning to. Mm -mm. There we go. Okay, so we've got those. Make sure he's not sticking. Did I peel the backings all off? We did. I bit my tongue. You don't have to. <laughs> Hi. Oh, look at that. We got more kids on. What up, North Ann Andrew? You guys are so cute. Okay, so here we go. Let's put this one on. Hey, you guys, tell them how hot it was in the portable yesterday. It was disgusting. Oh, my demo should send her. Thank you. No, you're so sweet. Okay, so there, we've got those in, okay? So I'm going to drop my hello. Drop it like it's hot, people. And I'm sure some of you are going, why is she talking like this in front of her students? Because I actually talk like this in my classroom. You're, they're not going to find anything weird about how I'm behaving right now. Okay. Mm -mm. There we go. I'm going to split these up, like I said. So I'm going to put... One pink one. I'm just kind of pushing it down to make sure that he's actually centered where he should be. Okay. And then this one. There. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to put... Oh, I don't. I want you on a different angle. I don't want my stripes all like in alignment. I want them kind of crazy. Crazy stripes. I'm going to take this one. See? Now, I will tell you this right now. I like, our, I like ours better with our popped up... Um, Whosie Wetsies are popped up animals. I think they're cutest. 82 in my house. AC frozen. Rats. What about yesterday? About how hot the portable was, dude. How hot was it in there? It was disgusting. Especially like recess to lunch when we were doing math yesterday. You actually felt sweat running down your neck. Like it was gross in there. And I was like, what about yesterday? What do we do? A sweet boy. Okay, next thing we're going to grab. I have got... Silver and clear epoxy essentials. These are new. I have yet to use them. There we go. Thank you, Sharon Gibb. Isn't this sweet? And we are going to add a little bit of white twine because they've got white twine on it. So we're going to do that too. So I think, do I want to go clear so that they come across as looking? I think that's what I'll do. If I use the clear, they'll come across as looking more pool party. Whereas if I put silver, they're going to look very silver. And that's not the look I'm going for. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start taking, oh, these ones we might have to lift with a spatula. So just a sec. If you weren't aware, turn your take a pick tool over. <clears throat> and now I can get, um, can I get under these with this? I can, but he's still going to kind of be in a weird location. So hang on. Oh my God. I love it. I love it too. I knew I didn't have it in me to design tonight. I thought you said white wine on it. Yeah, we're going to put some white wine on it. That's not twisted at all. We'll just add a little white one. Where's the ribbon supposed to go? Oh, it's going to go over there. Okay, so I'm going to avoid the ribbon zone. There. There we go. Put another one kind of maybe up here. Doot. And then we'll put another one kind of maybe down here. Oh, they're sweet, you guys. Love it. Sprayed. What are you saying, Ash? Spared. So hot, my teacher sprayed us with squirts of water. <laughs> Never. Never. There we go. Was that when you went out for pee yesterday, did she? <coughs> but that was good outside. You guys needed that yesterday. Stinking cute. It is stinking cute. Now, I still have rolls of whisper, uh, sorry, basic white ribbon or twine. We don't sell it anymore. Um, but you can buy it in the twine package, right? Like we've got that essentials twine package now and it's got white twine in it. So I still have mine. 
white wine, wishful thinking. I love you guys. Um, it is so sweet. And I mean, just changed up the color. I'd say in the catalog, it's quite a vibrant pink, maybe polished pink. I don't think it's magenta. That was a really garbagey tie job. Sorry, I want it to make it, it needs to be a dangly bow. Andrew, you missed it. I was telling them all about our art lesson today or our lack of art lesson or just teacher do art and laugh at us because that was more what I was doing, wasn't I? It was more for my amusement so I could laugh at you guys. Okay, let's come in here and then I think we'll just add that little bow like they did. Hang on, don't put it down, put it away. Don't put it down, put it away. Bring it in. Okay, I need blue dots. And let's put them on here. Come on. Come. The kids have already put in the request. We need to do the Father's Day cards coming up. They're like, ah, oh, Mrs. McKay, we need Father's Day cards. Okay, we're on it. Talk a little about the stamp camp. Oh, you did register. Good. Stamp camp is okay. You're doing the summer stamp camp or are you doing the perfectly pinned? So the summer stamp camp I'm doing with Rhonda, it's all with the plentiful plants bundle. Um, it's amazing. And actually, if you look on my Facebook in my description, I've got all my kind of live class links in there, but you get, um, package of the DSP, you get a roll of ribbon, you get the package of embellishments, you get your 13, I think there's 13 projects in it, 13 P like your PDF and all your projects. You can add on the actual bundle if you don't already have it and you can actually get it cheaper. So it would be, uh, it's normally 65 here in Canada because, you know, we gave our firstborn child. And then you've got taxes and shipping. But Rhonda and I are just throwing it in for the 65. So that's awesome. And then there's two add-on classes. I think I kind of bypassed this die set, but what a great piece. So I agree with you, Kimberly. I feel like so many would work. Okay, can I show you? What do you think? Do you love it as much as I love it? It's so cute. Okay, there, it just jumped. I was going to the other screen. So we did ours with Pool Party. We sponged in our pear pizzazz. We've got our super cute little peaky animals. We have got, um, totally, can you imagine? Debbie, I feel like that would be the best classroom ever with water guns. And uh, then we've got our host designer series paper. So what do you need? Look at me, I'm like, what do you need? Okay, so let's be kind, Angela. How? Oh, I know what I could do. So we used Peekaboo Farm. Peekaboo Farm. Peek Peekaboo. Peekaboo Farm <laughs> is twenty three. Your picture of this dies are forty six. So we have got a whopping sixty nine dollars together. Okay. <clears throat> now, remember, right now I have got on that promotion that if you spend seventy five with me, you get a free embossing folder. So you guys, you could get this and you could get this. You could add something small in. So the bridge, you need to see this. How cute are they? Aren't they adorable? Bridges had farm animals before. I remember what farm animals we were trying to find for you once. So for um, the $69, you could buy the peekaboo farm. You could buy the picture this dies. You could pick something else small. You need $6 worth. If you spend the 75, I'm going to give you a free embossing folder. You can pick it from either the new annual catalog or your January to June catalog. And then if you spend $100, you're going to get the global tutorial bundle from me. So you guys, killer deal. It's super pigtastic. I love that Kimberly Jennings stamp in summer. I know, Sandy, I can't wait for it. I'm so excited for that one. So you guys, don't miss out. Lots of fun stuff happening. Um, you can do do head to shopwithnorthshorestamper.com. There's my current host code, and that's the one that's gonna earn you the free embossing folder and the free global tutorial. There is the lovely image for that stamp camp that's coming up. The details, you'll find them on my Facebook page. So if you're on Facebook, just go find North Shore Stamper. And then this one here is my one with my girlfriend, Allison. This is our virtual monthly card class. This month, it's the hand-penned bundle. Now, Allison is actually going live tonight on Facebook. Um, and she, it is called stamp crazy with Allison and she's going to be doing a little promote, like a promoting of our class as well on her Facebook. So you're going to want to join her and check it out. Anyway, my darlings, I'm going to come back. I will show you. Look at, oh, I actually, uh, really embarrassing. I, uh, the kids, well, they're already gone. I think they're gone. We should all have a water fight. We should. Andrew, do you think we should do that? Do you think it would make the other classes jealous? Let's totally have a water gun fight. Can I, should I tell them you guys what I did with my pretty dress? 
Would you be willing to post to Southern Ireland? I'm not allowed. I would absolutely be willing, but I'm not allowed. I'm not able. Stampin' Up! won't let me sell outside of my own country. And I think that's more of a direct selling thing. <clears throat> An ocean scene would be great with that. Now, I wore a dress today. It's just a t-shirt dress. It's super cute. But then at lunch, I told the kids, I have no class. I, I spilled salsa and sour cream on it. So then I had to spend a lot of the afternoon walking around with my hand on my thigh to cover it like a giant dork. Anyway, mwah, have an amazing evening. And I will see you guys this weekend.